here's the update on Chief. So we ended up taking him to the vet the other day. And we initially uh, were concerned because his face swelled up, like it swelled up around his eyes and his cheeks and then his ears. And uh, we had pulled about 20 ticks uh, off of him in the previous week. And so we didn't know if it was related to like a tick disease or Lyme's disease. Um, and then he was also throwing up um, at night. So we took him into the vet. They did an inspection on him and um, they gave us some steroids. And then we gave they, we were giving him Benadryl to bring the swelling down. So they said to keep doing that, give him the steroids. And then they also gave us something for his digestion so that he wouldn't um, throw up. And next two days, uh, the swelling all went down and he started acting like normal. He stopped throwing up and we thought everything was good. Um, however, today he's just like really stiff and he, I just like tried to get him up out of his bed and he like couldn't stand up. He was like trying to stand up, but he couldn't. And so his joints are like getting really stiff and that could be related to Lyme's disease. So we're gonna take him back to the vet and they're gonna do a blood test on him to see if he does have Lyme disease or heartworm or something. And if that's the case, then we'll have to go through like a treatment for him. Um, and so we're just trying to figure that out. So Taylor's gonna head to the vet today, drop Chief off, and then they're gonna squeeze him in when they get the chance. I'm actually gonna go with Taylor, so we'll both go in and just kind of hang out in town. And that way we're just both there uh, if we have to make any decisions or whatever. This morning he just wouldn't get up off his bed. Okay. And, and that's he's stumbling at all or? No, he's just like, it's he hard for him to get up. Chief, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. That's not normal. Come on. Does it just seem like it's his back one? Mm -hmm. We're gonna hang out in town until they call us back. They're gonna try to squeeze him in between appointments today since they're all booked. Um, but they are gonna test him for uh, Lyme's disease and anything tick related. Uh, they're assuming that's what it is. It's been about an hour. We're still waiting to get a call back. So it's Not been three and a half hours. We're back at the vet. They just called us. And finish them out. Okay. okay. But you won't need a refill afterwards. Okay. Well, they're just finishing getting up the rest of the docks. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he 
got a disease from the ticks, but it wasn't Lyme disease. Concluded was that Chief has Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, which uh, it's a bacteria disease spread through the bite of, from a tick. So they gave us an antibiotic, painkiller, and um, we're supposed to continue the other stuff that we had for him as well. Having a real hard time standing up still, and they said they found a bunch more ticks on him. They're like really small ticks. So they also put like a, a heavier duty a tick repellent on him. Normally you put a tick collar on him every year when we were back in Oregon. And traveling, we just didn't think about it, and then we didn't realize how bad the ticks were over here and that they were like really tiny ones. Like we don't have those on the West Coast as far as I know. I learned our lesson as far as just keeping Chief up to date with the tick repellent and mosquito repellent. So yeah, keep uh, Chief in your thoughts and prayers as we go forward and we appreciate you guys' support. Thanks for watching our videos. And uh, if you hit that thumbs up button on this video, do it for Chief. So he's uh, having a rough go today. So, and it's his birthday, which is super sad. Uh, man, this would be like the worst day to have as your birthday. It's officially four years old today and we love him a lot. And we're gonna do our best to take care of him. Chief's been an awesome uh, traveling companion on this trip, and it's it, we shared kind of all of our experiences with him. So uh, he means a lot to us. Uh, so hopefully this next week he'll just get better and and fight this off. Want to stay up to date, like quicker on where Chief's at? Follow us on Instagram. Uh, we've been posting stories there, just giving more. Uh, updates as they come.